If you've been around the channel a while, you know that the current project is a cargo bike. One of the things we need for it is a, a back wheel. I have a three-speed hub and it was in the wrong size wheel, so I removed it from that wheel. So we have a little bit of a problem in that the flange on the mountain bike hub is smaller than the flange on the three-speed hub. And what that means is those spokes will be too long. But to compensate for that, what I'm going to do is change the lacing technique. The lacing that was used on the mountain bike wheel is called three cross. And what that means is that each spoke traveling in one direction around the wheel crosses three spokes traveling in the opposite direction. To compensate for the additional spoke length, instead of crossing three spokes, when I lace the wheel back together, I'm going to cross four spokes. And that should account for the difference in length fairly well. Now there is an extremely complicated formula you can attempt to solve uh, to derive what the spoke length should be. And it involves measuring the rim, measuring the flange length, the width between the flanges, and all that. I have the formula somewhere. I've attempted to solve it many times. It never comes out the same twice. I don't understand it. But I've done this before and one of three things happens. Either the spokes are too short and, and the wheel won't go together at all. The spokes are too long and you have to file off the uh, part of the spoke that sticks in and tries to poke on the uh, tube or it ends up being just right. Let's find out what happens this time. And we'll start by just removing all the spokes. And if you notice, I'm just loosening them one turn at a time. Because if you remove them completely one at a time, it could warp the rim. Now let's put it back together and see if it works out the way we hope. Now this is really not particularly difficult. All I'm doing is I put a spoke in every other flange hole in the hub and then I transfer those spokes into every fourth hole on the rim. It's a 36 spoke rim. And this is where I uh, put uh, the remainder of the spokes into every other flange hole on that same flange and they go the opposite direction into the rim every fourth hole. Now by some stroke of luck that looks like that's gonna work. Then I repeat that very same process on the opposite flange Okay, that is looking pretty good. That looks like that's going to work. What a stroke of luck. Then we'll go around the rim, tightening each spoke nipple, first one turn and then half a turn until the wheel starts to stiffen up. Now to true the wheel up, we'll just put it in an old bicycle fork and give it a spin. Make sure all those spokes are uniformly tight and the wheel runs true. Now let's take a look. That is looking all right to me. Now that turned out great. I could not be happier with that. 
We're still waiting on parts for the cargo bike, but at least we got the wheels situation taken care of. Anyway, that's all for this time. Thanks for stopping in. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click up here to see my last video. Click over here to see something of mine that YouTube thinks you'll like. And have a good one.